I'm Mike. This is Mike. This is Greg. And we're down here uh, right north of the Gateway Arch on a little side job, a little project we did for some people that we thought could use a bath. This is a self-contained shower that we put down here in downtown St. Louis at a where, an abandoned warehouse for the homeless people. And uh, we just bought, the three of us bought all the product, the materials, and put it together. It took about two days to build, get everything together and build it. There was really no big deal. There's no electric down here. Um, helping out these guys down here, they had no way of taking a shower unless they got enough money to go to a hotel room or whatever, but this is a, you know, a, a daily need sufficer. And uh, it was just three guys. Another guy couldn't be here today, Melvin, he couldn't be here today, but you know, we out ride Harleys and stuff and we come down here and help these guys out as much as we can, firewood, whatnot. And uh, one day we got the idea of making them a shower and you know, to help them out with that. So we all kind of put our heads together and built this thing and it's working pretty good for them, I believe. We get the water, we have them, they get water from the uh, gas station out of a hose, so yeah, so it's potable water, it's not runoff, so it doesn't get stagnant and, you know, uh, mosquitoes or stuff like that, so it's, it's, it's a fresh water that goes in there, so this is our fresh water we're going to pour into our fill hole in our plastic barrel. Fifty-five gallon drum, we painted it black. So it attracts some sunlight. Hold We're right here on the riverfront downtown, St. Louis. This is the uh, pickup tube that has a, uh, a one-way valve on the bottom. So when the water pulls into the, the hose, it doesn't drain back into the barrel. Put a rubber, flexible rubber, just a regular washing machine hose on there. So you can pull that tube out and then we hooked it up to the PVC that we ran through the wall into the shower area. This hole was covered with tin. We put some glass blocks in there. Keep the light into the shower area so you can see what's going on in there. As soon as we get this filled, we'll show you the, the vent hose. Because you need a vent or else it'll just suck a vacuum. The other lid, we drill the hole in it and just make a little PVC trap vent there. It's all one inch PVC. Three quarter inch PVC. <laughs> this is a door that we built for the shower area. This was a, in the existing building, there was a old bathroom in there. So we were lucky enough to have a floor drain in there. So we built the door. We put a couple vents on there and I put some, I'll show you later, the sheet metal in the back so nobody can see through. So you get some privacy. We put a padlock on there. There's a couple people that have keys so that, you know, there's nobody just hanging out and going in there and tearing stuff up. We got to kept the door up high enough to let some air in and this will let the air out. So then we open it up. Got a handle on there. Okay, this is the inside of our door here. I put these sheet metal because the vents are on the other side. I put some sheet metal so nobody can see through but yet the air is still passed through so it doesn't get too humid inside. We hung some hooks up there so they can hang clothes and towels and different things and stuff. And then we put a lock on the inside so when you're inside you, you know you got some privacy and you don't have to worry about anybody coming in on you. A little handmade handle there. We anchored the hinges to the concrete. We were fortunate enough to have a nice concrete room. The uh, the room's probably about six foot by six foot. It was a, originally an old bathroom, so we have a floor drain underneath. We've got a couple rubber mats here. There's a plastic skid to raise it up off the ground so you're not on the ground, and it's some rubber mats with holes in it so the water goes right through. And then uh, this is the PVC that was outside. It comes through, just elbows, anchored it to the wall so nothing gets pulled off. And this is a uh, Guzzler bilge pump. It's a hand 
So it's like an emergency bilge pump for a boat, actually. It has a one-way valve here and a one-way valve here. It's just a big rubber bellow. Goes up the PVC to the shower head. The shower head, we had to drill the guts out a little bit to let the water flow. But you can get it primed up here. And as you can see, the water comes out pretty good. So then you can shower off, you know, get wet and then shower off. They keep their soaps and their shampoos over here on the right on a shelf over here. There's a little stool they set up here. But otherwise, that's about it. It works pretty good for them. Yeah, we got the guzzler. Guzzler bilge pump online, it was about $80 for the parts, about $30-something dollars in PVC, and then the bar barrel, you can find those online from $20 or $35, something like that. And uh, the, the little flexible hose outside and one-way valves, everything was about $35 in PVC parts and under $200. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you can get a lot of this stuff off Craigslist donated or, you know, if you can find a, a church or a charity or somebody to help you out or whatever. I mean, sure, somebody could get parts for you. And also, if you're not fortunate to have a floor drain, you could just build a, uh, a small surround with two by fours and plywood, put a door on it, you know, so and then just let it drain out onto the floor rather than having a, you know, having a floor drain, an actual floor drain. But we painted everything in here white also, too, and put some mirrors up so they can shave, and, and it keeps the light in here pretty good. So that's how you do your homeless shower. Self-contained. Self-contained homeless shower.